welcome to the Liberty Lowdown. I'm Kay Walsh and I'm Jenny Smith and we are back. We have been very busy and we've got a lot to share between now and Christmas. So keep watching, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started straight away. L is for love. Today we are loving Liberty's organic Tana lawns. So these came out a, a few months ago now, but essentially they're very similar to Tana lawn, but they go through slightly different processing at Liberty's Mill on the shores of Lake Como in Italy, and they reach the global certification standards for organic fabrics. So they have this nice warm, feel this lustrous colour and it's just really exciting for us because you get some of those classic prints that we love but in really new fresh dynamic colourways. As soon as I saw them pop up on the internet a while ago I was like oh that Betsy, that Capel and they're very very gorgeous and we have got a giveaway for you so I'm going to tell you the details of that now. So I've curated a little Jenny bundle of these organic fabrics. We've got six fat quarters here, so loads of scope for a quilt project or anything that you like, a very meaningful start with this quantity of fabrics. And what you have to do is we have done this together with Showcat Fabrics in London and our last special Liberty Lowdown was filmed on location at Showcat showing you all about how amazing it is. So this is what we want you to do. You need to go back on our YouTube channel and watch the Liberty Lowdown Showcat special. In the comment section underneath, you need to leave your name and tell us whereabouts you are in the world. We don't want your personal address, just give us an idea whereabouts you are and make sure you're subscribed to this channel. The 5th of November is the deadline for you to go watch, subscribe and comment and then in our next issue of the Liberty Lowdown we will be announcing the name of the winner. We will then contact them and these will be on the way to you in your home. First up in the bundle that I've curated with Showcat is this Field Flowers. I just love the colourways in that. Green is sometimes tricky to find on Tarn Alone so I thought that was a good one for the stash. Oh, this Wiltshire, Kay, Kay's going to give in to this at some point, I'm sure. Beautiful Wiltshire colourway, really, really love that. Could be quite Christmassy as well. Oh, and this Betsy, look at this Betsy with that purple and that bright yellow. Really, really pretty. Love that very, very much. And they just all work together as well. Capel in a bright, happy pink. Just gorgeous. Mitzi. Good old Mitzi. I think they did a tiny Mitzi Valeria once in this lovely kind of baby blue. That's really, really pretty. Obviously works well with the yellow and the pink. And another Mitzi because, again, this pink is just so vibrant and beautiful. I is for interiors and on one of our last trips down to London Jenny and I popped into the Liberty store to have a look at these lovely new wallpapers that they're doing. You can see them in situ in full length drops on mock-up walls there and they are beautiful. We fell in love. So I ordered a few samples here which you can do on the Liberty website. You do have to pay for them. They're £5 each but it was quite good to see because as you can see the scale is maybe not what you might imagine from the fabrics that you know and love. So this one is called Poppy Meadow and it's obviously based on the Poppy and Daisy fabric that we love. Jenny wanted to try these two samples so we're kind of both thinking we might need to redecorate our bedrooms now just so we can get these into our homes so we'll keep you updated on that. So yeah so Jenny's ordered these two lovely editions of Poppy Meadow and those who know me will know obviously I went for the Wiltshire. This is called Wiltshire Blossom and this one I hope you can see has got nice little metallic bits in it and then I had to go for the blue obviously. So yeah so we're gonna pop these up on our walls at home and see if we can persuade our other halves that we need to redecorate. B is for the book that I wrote Quilting with Liberty Fabrics and in this book is the quilt behind me which is called Stele and it works very beautifully in these quilting cottons which were from the Summer House collection but 
fabric collections come and go, some of them are seasonal and we want to keep this book alive. It's actually just gone to its second print run which is fantastic news in time for Christmas for everybody around the world that still wants to buy a copy. So what we have done is the Liberty Design Studio sent us some images of these beautiful Carnaby fabrics which again we've done a special lowdown all about these prints and the stories behind them and we've recolored the Stele quilt with some of these because instantly when I saw this collection I said you know it will work really well in this modern graphic quilt so we're going to show you some pictures of that now just so you can see how it works but any of the Carnaby prints there's three colorways in this collection would look really really good so if you want to make that then all the meterage is in the book you can get the fabrics from Liberty or other Liberty retailers around the world <laughs> he is for exciting news and this lovely little box arrived probably a week oh, or so we? ago yeah. and we have been so wanting to open it but we've left it because we wanted to share it with you so we're going to show you what is inside oh, wow. it is exciting it's pretty big okay so after lusting after one of these for many, many years, Jenny very kindly gifted me one last Christmas, which was a delight for me, I have to say. And then we've got this. Yeah, so this is a Liberty Beauty Advent Calendar and Liberty are very kindly sent us one this year which we are going to share. We don't want to give, well we can look at just the little bit inside, can't we? Because yeah, you see the print. You can see what print it is. That's Because it's allowed. different each year. Hold down, let's slide that. <laughs> can we do it? <laughs> or do we have to break that bit? No? No. Okay. Do it. So if you want to join in the fun, then we'll put the link beneath as well. I know we sent out a newsletter about this because they do sell out. It's Liberty's best selling product of all time. So if you want to grab one and join in the fun in December, we're going to be um, opening the draw each day. Kay is a beauty expert. No, you probably well, are. I just love it, I have to say. I think I've liked makeup and beauty since I was very little. So I won't say I was an expert, but I I, I know a lot probably because I use a lot. <laughs> yeah, you bought it like when we go away on our trips, I have water and a cheap moisturizer and that's about the extent of my skincare and Kay travels with three or four different bags and is always aghast at, that I don't look after myself and things and actually as I approach 45 I'm feeling like maybe I should take a bit more care so I am keen to learn what is in here some of the products but also it's just a beautiful thing last year we we did an advent calendar online where we pulled out fabrics from the book each day and told you about them so we'll throw some fabrics into the advent fun as well and then we're going to set ourselves a bit of a challenge aren't we yeah. to upcycle the box afterwards because actually the inside oh nice oh that is nice we'll have to find out more about this print oh yeah. it smells nice can you smell oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> the inside is not Christmassy at all so we were thinking if we can hack these exterior as well do something with it, maybe sew something that we can slide over, then it could be a really cool piece of kit in your sewing space to use beyond Christmas because you could put lots of little notions and bits and bobs in these drawers as well. So pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll be you. ready for December. <laughs> yeah, thank you Liberty. Thank you. R is for retro. And in one of these books here, this is about liberty and fashion, particularly in the 50s and 60s. It's by Anna Baruma, who's still the head archivist at Liberty. So I remembered, as I was scrolling through this book, that I've always loved this print here. Um, it was designed by Bernard Neville. It was used by Yves Saint Laurent in his fashion collection in 1968. And I just... Thought it was very very cool these images stuck in my head and then a couple of years ago i was in the store i think they were maybe even an in-store exclusive um or something like that but the tarnalon with this design came out and um, so the original was called macedonia the one that came out was called macedonia blanket but essentially 
it is this print at that scale and so obviously I had to buy some and make a skirt which you can see in the photograph now. I was trying to emulate the pose, I realised it's very difficult to look very serious and pout um, but I used a pattern by Deer and Doe. Um, I made this up in the Tana Lawn, it was a, a nice easy sew, didn't put pockets in it which I'm slightly regretting now, I, I, I do love a pocket in a skirt but um, I made it a while ago and then I was thinking is it too crazy, it sat in my wardrobe for a little bit plus we've you know we haven't been out a lot during this global pandemic but anyway now I've worn it with some nice winter boots I think it's going to be a good staple so a celebration of a past liberty print brought back by the design studio thank you very much T is for Tana Lawn and let's take a look at one of Liberty's new capsule collections called From Japan With Love. As you can see here it's got a lovely collection of some really different little prints. Liberty have an office in Tokyo and they've worked with Japanese artisans on this collection. If you take a look at the Liberty Fabrics Instagram there's more information about the different prints and the inspiration behind them so have a look at that. And talking of the From Japan With Love collection, Jenny Smith, <laughs> you have no willpower. I have no willpower. The first time we went in the store, because these, well you can buy them online from Liberties, but I'm not sure that many other retailers have got them. Um, it's a bit of an exclusive, isn't it? Yeah. The first time I was really good and resisted, but bought something else. Anyway, yeah, so not that good. <laughs> not that good. And then I kept thinking, oh, but the one with the little guy on the ball just looks like a polka dot from a distance. So that's quite, I quite like it that sometimes a print register is different when you then see it up close. There's kind of like little hidden details. And then you said it looked really nice. Well, it does. It looks beautiful. I mean, pink and red. Pink and red. Gorgeous. Yeah. So it's. And it's nice to see the scale of the, the little dots, isn't it? Like that. Yeah, it's really, really cute up close and I'm going to maybe make the boho Liberty pattern blouse. Yeah. I got enough to go for big sleeves, big collars, look nice and with it does some suit, yeah. Is it alright? Yeah, it's going to be fab. And I'm anyway, going to want it. talking of new Liberty purchases and uh, delights, what's, what's this you're wearing? This old thing. <laughs> You can get away with that with your husband, but you can't with me. No. Um, this is one of our pioneers' gorgeous dresses, which I couldn't resist. Brand new, yeah. So For autumn, isn't it? Look at the it sleeves. It is. I know they've got some. It's got some lovely kind of pleated details and the two fabrics. And you made me do it. To be fair, I'm not sure I would have maybe picked this green one because. I don't know, but I, yeah, I love it. But you said you wore green though when you were pregnant. Yeah, I wore green all the time when I was pregnant, which is really odd, isn't it? And obviously I've turned a bit blue recently, but I do love it and I've barely taken it off. So that's probably a good sign, isn't it? It, it is definitely, and it has pockets. And it's got pockets. Yeah, and it's beautiful. And the old pioneers, we've said it before, you know, we've done the dress collaboration with them, the Jemima dress, but their, their ethos is no dress. You shouldn't save it for best. Just wear it and Just enjoy it, it and yeah. you look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Y is for your makes and we are finishing off today with a beautiful make and a poem which is by Gabrielle Janogli and it features in the book and it's about the little owl who sits up on the third floor carved into the atrium of Liberty's interior so I'll just read it for you quickly. I've never liked the rain or snow, I'm frightened of the dark, it's why I'm perched at Liberty and not at Regent's Park. The third floor suits me to a T. There's space to stretch my wings. And every year with Christmas near, the stars are hung on strings. So we put the Oscar Owl pattern in the book. You can make him foundation paper pieced. And Gabrielle's mum, who is a quilter, because I did contact the poet Gabrielle to ask for permission to include her wonderful um, piece of writing in the book. And later she contacted me to say that her mum was a quilter and her mum made a Oscar owl from the book and has embroidered that poem on the back of it as well. So what an incredible special gift and another of those kind of, you know, heart pumping moments for us when something from the book goes out into the real world and is made with such love and care. So that's a wonderful your makes to finish off with. 
Thanks for joining us and watching again. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Go back and enter the giveaway. And anything else? If you want to join in the Advent Fund, the links are below. If you want to have no willpower like me and buy some nice fabrics, the links are all below as well. Um, I think that's it for now. So keep curious and love liberty. Bye. Bye.